So that's it guys, first leg over and it's advantage Chelsea. So welcome to the match review of Chelsea 2, Lil Nil. That's got a ring to it, hasn't it? Lil Nil, okay. Welcome to the Burton Ballers. Ain't got no time for no stallers, yeah. We are the risers, we're not the fallers. Our channel is growing wider and taller. Yeah, we're here to give you the news. About your dear beloved blues, yeah. So if you like this YouTube channel, like, subscribe, and turn on that bell. Yeah. Right, so we have you know got going into the game against Lil at their ground in a couple of weeks' time. We have got the advantage. Was it a couple or three weeks? I think three weeks' time actually. And um, courtesy of two goals, one in each half, one from Kai Havertz and one from Christian Pulisic. So um, the first surprise of the day, or was it a surprise? Lukaku was dropped. So there was no Lukaku and whether he, was he dropped or was he rested? We'll find out more on, on, about that on Sunday. So um, we went into with a front three of Havertz, Ziyech, and um, Pudisic. And for the first 10 minutes, we looked really good. We were very fluid. Um, Havertz was playing like he was um, at a point to prove. He, you know, he, he came into that striking role and he said, you know what, I'm going to make this position my own. And he first, he had a, a shot, which he should have done better with, really. Or, or maybe not. He was stretching for it. He was on the stretch and the ball went over the bar then he cut inside and had a curler which um was saved by the goalkeeper then third time lucky for Havertz when he scored with, from a set play um good header from the corner but after that goal I thought we were going to push on but we didn't really push on and um in the, the we allowed Lil more into the game and Lil were quite brave in possession they were having a go um they didn't play like a low block so, and at times it was like a two and throw basketball match but we didn't really do a lot with the possession that we had in that um, uh, um after we scored that goal so we ended up our very lackluster really and um, Thomas Tuchel wasn't happy because when we came out in the second half, we started to play with a lot more purpose. Um, and Lil still were having some joy in attack. And at times it was um, they attack, we attack, they attack, we attack for a bit until we scored that second goal. And so we started to dominate after we scored the second goal. And um, that came courtesy of a Fine run by N'Golo Kante and a brilliant pass to Christian Pulisic who used his body well to get in front of his man, open his body up to knock the ball into the far corner. And that's another thing, play your players in the right position. Today we saw a, a good Christian Pulisic. So Christian Pulisic we've been looking for for a while. And why? Because he was playing in his rightful position on that left-hand side. He looked a lot more comfortable in that position, beating players and, you know, uh, opening up the pitch um, by giving us natural width in that area, and so I did, I thought that he had he had a good game, but not as good as my man um, Angola Kante. As I said, definitely man of the match for me. And yeah, so a lot better second half. As I said, after that second goal, that was it. Game set and match. Uh, Mars, uh, Marseille, Lille were a bit deflated after that, and we just kind of controlled the, the the game from there on in, but. The game was marred by two injuries. So um, Kovacic went off near the beginning of the second half to be replaced by Ruben Loftus cheek And we also had an injury to our man of the moment, the guy who's been playing pretty well, although he didn't have a great game today, um, Hakim Ziyech. And that looks like a pretty poor, bad injury. So I you know from the looks of it, both of those players are probably going to be out of the final against Liverpool. So that was going to be a big blow because they, they are two of our better performers this season. Um, so, yeah, that was like a dampener on, on the game. It was good to see as well. I'm not sure a lot of people picked up on it. In the 31st minute, 
there was a round of applause for, for Jamal Edwards. And so yeah, that, that was great to see. And another good thing that I saw today was that badge. I love that, you know, that gold badge in the middle of our shirt that says world champions. That was another good thing to see. Anyway, we um, we move on. So we we you know we we got the desired desired result. Two 0 is a good result to take back. Uh, they need to now win the game um, by. No, they can they could actually with 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 the fact that there's now away goals. Even if we score early, if they score three, then it can still go into extra time. Um, but I, I I'm hoping that we've done enough. You know, don't underestimate them at home. They are a decent side, but they haven't been playing too well this season. So I'm hoping that those, those that, that two goal advantage is is going to be enough to take us through to the to the next stages. So, um, what do you guys think of the performance? Are you happy with the performance today? Do you think we looked a better side without Lukaku, or do you think the fact that um, Lille played a more of an open game, which allowed our strikers to express themselves a bit? better or was um what won us the game do you think if Lukaku would have played he could have possibly scored or do you think that we would have been a lot less um fluid in attack stick your comments in the section below so looking forward now to the uh, Carabao Cup final which is going to be played on Sunday so um the players, you know, Thomas Kuka was able to make five substitutes and rest some players. But as I said, my concern is about those two injuries and what's going to happen with that. Just one more point before I go, actually. Jorginho, what's happening with Jorginho? Because, like, uh, when Kovacic went off, you thought that the first substitution would have been Jorginho, but Jorginho didn't make it. Is there been a falling out? Is Thomas, has Thomas Tuchel lost a bit of faith in him? Or is he carrying a bit of an injury? I don't know. But that's a, that's a strange one. Yeah, we'll see on Sunday as well whether he makes a starting lineup or whether he sticks with Kante and lifts off his cheek. If he does, then warning bells. You know, could this be the end? Don't know. So, guys, stick your comments, as I said, in the section below. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Until then, take care. Good night.